Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm just going to be doing a quick eyeshadow look. So we're, so we're going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And we're also going to be using the Australis Metallics Guns and Rose Petals just as a one and done eyeshadow look. Um, so I'm really just using the eyeshadows from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar as it is um, a pan that palette and it is due an update. It would have been it would have been done sooner if I would have been using eyeshadows um, two weeks previously. So I've had to carry it on for another two weeks, but I'm hoping to get it up in the next couple of days. Um, so I thought I would. I've got this one to do, and I've also got the one in JZ, which will be done tomorrow. Um, so I thought I would do that one today, just because it is so my vibe. Rose gold is so me. And, um, yeah, I thought we'd do that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put powder on the lids. I'm going to put it, like, just above here, because that's where I've got my base. So all the um, eyeshadows that I apply from the Too Faced Chocolate bar will adhere better. So let me just find my brush. I'll just use this one. So we're going in with the white chocolate shade. Where's my mirror? Oh, I put it there, I didn't mean to. So literally just above the crease is where it needs to go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you the progress on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I mean, there's progress, um, but there would have been more, obviously, if I'd stuck to the palette all month. But I don't want to be doing that all the time. I'll use, um, like, the white chocolate shade and I'll use the salted caramel shade if palettes don't have those two shades in. Otherwise, I'm, I'm constantly testing the palettes that are coming into the collection. Or I'm testing palettes that I'm wondering, well, do I really need that in the collection as well? So, yeah, I've, I've used what I can off it and then... I'll use it tomorrow and then I'll do the project pan update. Um, so by the time you see these videos, you'll have already seen the pan that palette update anyway. So it's kind of, um, I shouldn't really have even mentioned it to be honest. Okay, so now then. I'm going to use these Real Technique brushes I used yesterday. I really enjoyed them. I'm really wondering now whether to get some new ones. So, yeah, I'm going to go into the Salted Caramel. Of course, I'm not going to show you because I don't want it to spoil the fun. Just put this in the crease. It literally isn't going to take long at all. I mean, I've only come on camera really to show you the star of the show, which is going to be that Australis one. We can finally get Australis in the UK now as well, which I think is really good. They don't do a huge selection, but they do it at Boots, um, palettes and whatnot. Now, these two eyeshadows came from Australia, from my best friend in Australia, um, she sent them to me what seems like ages ago, probably was ages ago. I probably shouldn't still be putting them on my eyes, but um, they seem fine. Very creamy still. And while they're very creamy, I'm not going to be wasteful and just not use them. Right, so I'm going to go in with the smaller brush. So that brush was called the apply shadow brush and then this one's the blend um, and again with the same colour in fact I didn't wipe off that other colour from yesterday so again with the same colour but just in the outer V I don't know if to deepen it out with milk chocolate I might just so I'm using more than two eyeshadows Thank you. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go in with milk chocolate. Same brush, I've just swirled it on my colour switch. Or I could go in with semi-sweet. Let's try semi-sweet today. That's not part of one of the... That's not part of the Project Pan eyeshadows. But it is darker than milk chocolate. So it's going to look nice in the outer vein through the lash line. So this palette was one of the first palettes high-end that I treated myself to. I got the Urban Decay Smoked first. Then it was recommended that I get the Urban Decay Original Naked, which I got. And then I saw the colour story to this. And I thought, well, I like the pans. I like the square pans in the... Um, Two Face Chocolate Bar in the Urban Decay Naked. They're like oblong and I really don't like that. Which is strange. I mean, considering that I've just bought myself the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Palette and they're exactly the same shape. I just don't know why I've done it. Um, the colour story looks nice. It looks right up my straight. But the oblong palettes are going to drive me... Sorry, the oblong eyeshadows are going to drive me insane. I think that's how I want it um, for now I might have to blend it a little bit more but for now I'm going to go in with the um, Australis Metallics and I got this other brush and it's supposed to be really good for cream so I thought I would use try and use it to apply this cream eyeshadow don't know if it looks like it's picking up oh it is it's just not pigmented so I'll place a bit of colour down first and then I will go in with my finger fingers are always best I think it's very sparkly yeah I'm just gonna take that off now I think this brush would probably be better for in a corner highlight I don't think it's an eyeshadow brush um, because it's not actually picking eyeshadow up I tried it yesterday and um, I'm trying it again today I mean look how pigmented that is on the finger I have taken it a little bit too far up the crease I'm blending it in or trying to as best I can so that's what it's looking like camera really needs to be positioned up a little bit um, oops <laughs> oh that looks good right so considering I don't think I've used that this much there is a pretty healthy dip going there um, so it shouldn't be too long till I actually hit physical pan on that um, I'm gonna get one of my other blending brushes and try and blend all that out so this one is the Soho blending brush and I got it from TK Maxx for like 3 99 I say this practically in every single video and every time I go to TK Maxx I'm always on the lookout for a new one and I can't find it so annoying but one can't be greedy can they um I've got this one and that's what's important one can't be greedy I've been watching too much of the crown I bought my mum season 4 for her birthday last week and we've been watching it. We've only got one more disc to watch. She's really enjoying it. Um, she loved Princess Diana though. She loves the whole um, royal family. But yeah, she loves Princess Diana. And, you know, Josh O'Connor who plays Prince Charles. I mean, how similar does he look? I mean, Emma who plays... Princess Diana, she looks very similar, but it's wigs and makeup and whatnot, and obviously costume. But Charles, um, Joshua Connor, oh, 
I just can't believe how, how similar he looks to a very young Prince Charles. And then there's um, Gillian Anderson who plays Margaret Thatcher and it's like, oh my gosh, she's doing such a marvellous job. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. We need to put some of that um, milk chocolate. In fact, no, I think I'm just going to go in with semi-sweet just on the lash line. I'm not going to bother with milk chocolate because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So what are your thoughts on the crown, guys? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you not bothered? Um, have you watched it? Especially season four, what do you think of it? Um, and I'm just going to get a lash line brush or try to. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this Ecar Tools one and I'm going to go in with Semi Sweet on it. Yeah. I've gone too far underneath. See, that's why I don't like that brush. Where's my actual lash line brush got that many brushes on here oh it's here this is the brush i really like for doing this um more detailed lash line work um and i know a lot of people like a blown out kind of lash um but i i don't like that kind of i don't like a blown out lash line so i tend to use this one so it's the bh cosmetics don't know the number but we're just going to use this for a semi sweet and hopefully it'll make it look better yes and then we're going to go in with um i think it's yeah champagne truffle i was just going to show you the palette then um we're going to go in with champagne truffle i'm going to go in with that real techniques brush again so it's this one just try and see how that applies oh yeah that's applying much better so i think i'm just going to save this brush not for eyeshadow like it's intended to um but for in a corner highlight i always do that sometimes if a brush doesn't work out then i'll use it for something different i don't necessarily use just because it says eyeshadow brush i don't necessarily use it for eyeshadow um so just give me one minute sorry i just had to check on my lunch um so now we're just gonna use this mascara i'm not gonna use um the eyeliner today to tight line it's the rimmel <coughs> It's a Rimmel London Scandalise Volume On Demand. So this look is very daytime appropriate. I don't know if some people would consider um, the sparkle and the eyeshadow daytime appropriate though. But I'm just saying it's a really, really simple look. It does have a lot of sparkle in that particular eyeshadow. I don't know if Australis even sell that anymore. Like I said, it's just really, really old at this point. But I just wanted to see. I just wanted to show you um, what they look like on camera and do a look with them. Now, if Pretty Random tells me to use it again, I obviously won't do another look because there's only so many. There's only so much you can do with a cream eyeshadow that's meant for a one and done eyeshadow look and obviously a palette, especially a neutral palette like this. Um, but I don't think it looks too bad. So that's the eyeliner on. So now guys, all we need to do is lipstick and let's take the lip balm off so I have got a bit of a story about this so this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and it's not one of the ones I pulled out for the lipstick edit now I've seen quite a lot of people who use 
um, like when it gets down to a certain point in the lipstick so use them the depart them and use them as a blush and that's what I've done today and I really like the effect so this is a lipstick that I'm not 100% sure about now if I don't like it as a lipstick I absolutely love it as a blush it's what's really giving me this glow here I'm not wearing bronzer today and I can't remember the last time I didn't wear bronzer I just wanted to go for this really natural luminescent glow so all I've got on my face is obviously um I've got the this um lipstick in stone stone rose and I've got um the highlighter by MAC in soft and gentle I had to think then um so yeah I thought I would try and like pair them together and see what it looks like this is a cream lipstick it's one of charlotte tilbury's cream lipsticks and i prefer her matte revolution ones so it could be that that could be why i don't like it but let's have a look no i don't like it as a lipstick so i think what i'm gonna do is just use this one as blush i mean it's okay Let's just zoom out. It's okay. Um, I think it looks nicer on me personally, on my skin tone as a blusher. That's what we're looking like. I just think it looks nicer as a blusher. And what's got me on to cream blush is the flower ones. I do want to get a few more of them. But if I've got lipsticks in my collection that can be used as a cream blush and looks good on the cheeks, that's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be experimenting with lipsticks really, really soon. I do like the way the face makeup is looking. I've used really inexpensive foundation. So I've used the W7 HD. I've used the Primark one. The Primark one's like £2.50, guys. I don't think they stock it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's my Project Pan Foundation, the Primark one. And then for kind of an all over glow but I don't have a glow on the forehead because I don't really like that shiny forehead look I've used the L'Oreal sorry I forgot the name of it I've used the L'Oreal Glow Cherie um, this one and this one is beautiful but I would say that my W7 one um, it's very very similar um, I will talk about that when I do my shot my stash it is very very similar so this one I think £10, maybe £12 when it's not on sale and you can get the W7 one for £3.99 so if you want to try this I would definitely recommend the W7 one let me just go and get it so you know what I'm talking about right so this is marketed as a primer so it's the W7 it's glow prime so I would say they're very very similar they're almost dupes I think this one is a smidge darker um, this one isn't marketed as a primer it's a glow cherie um, natural glow enhancer um, and I would say it does give you that natural glow enhancer I think I've got the lighter shade it's in I'm sure zero two it just says light glow um, but I'm almost sure it said zero two when I bought it I don't know what even where I would find it no um but yeah i absolutely love this um so yeah i would say like if you want to try that then i would recommend this one first if you live in the uk and w7 is easy for you to get if, if it's not easy for you to get and you live in another country then yeah i would recommend this um it's really really good i'm loving the overall look guys it's very very simple like i said the eyes are very very simple um now i personally wouldn't have an issue on using this eye look day to day but i know that some people don't like glitters for like every day for work and things like that so it wouldn't it wouldn't be for them but this is the eyeshadow look can you see how glittery it is and how reflective it is um thank you for watching today i really do appreciate it hopefully this is just a very quick um video 
hopefully this video is very quick today I know some of them have been a little bit long like the mental health awareness one was a little bit longer than I expected it to be um, I had to cut it down quite a bit towards the end just because it was dragging on so much and um, not many people want to sit and watch a video past half hour and I got my point across anyway earlier on in the video mental health awareness is very important I'm going to leave it at the end of this video actually no I'll leave it in the cards um, if you've not already seen it I would really appreciate you going to check it out it's part of a collaboration I would appreciate it if you would check the other ladies channels out as well I'm sure they would as well so thank you for watching today guys I really do appreciate your time and support please subscribe if you've not already I'm currently working on a giveaway um, so I'll be doing that probably in the next month or so so you've got to be in it to win it as they say um please share and also please comment and i will see you in my next one bye guys